With COVID still on my mind, I have changed the way I have wanted to travel. Half of me wants to travel and the other half doesn't. During this time, I have had time to reflect and value what is important to me. Things are looking better. But this is how I am going to travel. Some of these thoughts include sustainable tourism and creative ways to globetrot from home. If you are obsessed with travel and want to see more, check out my other videos and remember to like and subscribe. Remember to like and subscribe. 5. Sustainability will be a driving force. I want to help the environment as well as travel, so sustainability will definitely be a priority. Prior to COVID I didn't think about my eco-credentials when traveling and it is something I have tried to increase during the pandemic. There are companies that counteract your carbon footprint when flying. Staying in an eco-friendly hotel is another way, some of them look awesome. 4. Our journeys will become more inclusive. The Black Lives Matter movement has brought the issue of representation to light in all industries, including travel. As a non-black woman I didn't know of the troubles black people faced and now I want to help people of all colors and races travel and make an effort to get their viewpoint of what they like. They see and how it might vary to me or how similar it would be to me. No more am I the only one thinking that. I will also make sure I visit the living history museums in the US, where historic interpreters portray figures from the past. They shed light on painful issues, such as racism in America, and hidden narratives, such as those of people of color, whose stories have been suppressed. 4. Small communities will play a bigger role. During the pandemic I visited my local high street a lot and got to know my own area whereas before I was always looking in a different city. Travelers can make a difference in small towns that were already struggling economically before the pandemic. I will to support these places by championing local businesses and donating to non-profits. Another way I can do this is by visiting less known touristy destinations. Less mass tourism and more unknown destinations. 3. I'll seek quality over quantity. I discovered so many places locally and that has influenced my travel, I don't crave high mileage travel anymore. It's given me the freedom to explore travel projects for passion instead of the it country. Travel is a privilege many take for granted. Privilege comes in many forms, and the act of recognizing my travel related has called us to think about traveling more intentionally and less often. 2. The road trip will kick into high gear. For years I have wanted to take a road trip and finally I achieved it during the COVID. And I loved it. I can't believe I put it off for so long. Also, I wasn't sure about travel. And this was the perfect option, I traveled but had my own car and had my freedom. I also drove for a while in the country and cities changed so much. So there is so much to explore. Road tripping has shown me that the core of travel, curiosity, exposure to newness, and wonder is a perspective, not a destination. I think I learned more about some countries from the comfort of my home, I took gallery tours from across the world. Cooking classes from authentic experts, games, and virtual experiences kept the spirit of travel alive by considering the feelings that travel elicits. When we compare everything to being locked up indefinitely in our respective towers, a walk to the park can feel like travel. A meal on a patio at a restaurant down the street seems like holiday vibes to me. 1. Travel advisors will become essential. I am looking for more interesting places to travel but don't want to waste time researching so booking travel through agents and established operators is the best option. They have so much valuable information and know a lot about what interesting off the beaten track places to go to are. There are also agents who specialize in the environment, those who care about where they send their customers and really ensure every link in the supply chain is an honorable one. Thank you for watching, remember to like and subscribe for more travel.